Hello everybody, welcome to the Heritage. Gand here with Bestie. Besties for life. Besties for life. I'm going to apologise now. If I cough, if I snuffle, if I sound like I've got a peg on my nose, it's because I'm, I'm so ill. I'm like, it's not good. I'm We've basically a dead man. If I can't get sympathy here, where can I get it? I mean, my wife certainly isn't going to give me any sympathy whatsoever. Are you getting physically abused at home? Essentially, this is my online cry for help right now. Luckily, there's five viewers, and I'm pretty sure all five <laughs> of them are going to pretend you're staff, and none of them are going to care. <laughs> Everyone's on the phone now. Um, yeah, please, there's a man online who's, who's being abused. Good game. Send help. <laughs> <laughs> so, once you've finished trying to send help to Gand, then you might want to focus on the game, and you realise that we're looking at LSE Dota versus Southampton. This is the best of three, and it is the first round of the Heritage. I think it's worth mentioning, we got some former champs on the go though. We have indeed. LSE were the winners of our previous tournament, and I believe that at least three of them playing on their Razer keyboards that they won in the last round. Some familiar faces, with uh, Beam, who has renamed himself to... 3k player, just to confuse me, who was the Star Meepo player from last time, and Great Fluffy Bear, sometimes known as Ethan, who uh, built Sanjin Yasha, and it would appear that Southampton have been doing their research because they have banned Meepo. I'm a little worried that that Razor keyboard is just going to lead an already strong yeah, team into an easy victory. Wow, I mean, <laughs> the is already, I mean... You know it's bad when like the professionalism is so bad that when you plug, I have to stop and congratulate you. <laughs> That's how bad we are. You know what? Like straight away though, I wanted to to bring up my usual of uh, aesthetics. Both teams have logos. It's going to be hard. I mean, again, LSE have the slightly better logo. I don't know why I think that. Yeah, but okay, so not only are you you're also plugging the fact that you did the, the graphic design. <laughs> I hear Huawei actually make really good phones. I mean, have you heard that before? Mm, the Honor 7 is pretty decent. I mean, it's got good specs. It looks minimalist. It's 5.2 inches, which is absolutely brilliant for watching Twitch casts. If like you wanted to watch maybe the Heritage or uh, I don't know some other than things on there. You know, the, really the unfortunately, we're not on all the time. I mean. Surely not. It is an eight megapixel front facing. You know what the horrible thing is? This is all just committed to memory. <laughs> really? Because I mean, you're more prepared yeah, than I am. Impressed to be honest. Massive phone geek. Like, oh, I'm scared. Be scared. I'm coming. Okay, so I mean, the draft's almost finished. So <laughs> all, we've, all we've done so far is plug Gans, uh, Gans various sponsors. Indeed. Right. Okay. Let, let, let's do this. Let's do this. Analysis. I mean, I did briefly mention that there was a Meepo ban. Yeah, I mean, Are that that really is research-based, isn't it? Because, like, that is just not a not a <laughs> ban that happens. I mean, this, the Doom ban, the Doom ban, that's pretty standard. But to go. Mm. Apparently, rumour on the street is that I'm a bit quiet. Oh, let's turn you up then. Sorry, everyone. I'm not gonna Change volume. More decibels. Boosh. Okay, I hope I'm scary loud now. Okay, so <laughs> right. Jesus. Okay, so so far, some interesting stuff going down. Mm. The first pick I'm dying, perhaps the uh, the most unusual. I mean, the wire and tusk, pretty expected. Um, yeah, I guess the undying implies that we are going to see some aggression coming out from Southampton, which is uh, always fun. But going aggressive into what is potentially a wire and lane is sometimes not the dream. But you know, if the team stays alive long enough, that's always scary. Yeah. Lane, it's looking like we're going to have the uh, the Queen versus Shadow Fiend matchup, which is always a fun one. But I was thinking that, but you can send Quap off. I mean, yeah, Willie Dodge. If it is Quap versus Shadow Fiend, who are you fancying? Um, I mean, as 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 the game goes on into sort of like the sort of five to ten minute mark, he gets to that point where Shadow Fiend's got level five. He's got the three levels in raise, and he's basically just going to. Casually kill each one. wave, then mm. wander off to a jungle. But in the uh, in the first few levels, Queen's got the chance to hopefully get a little bit ahead and maybe slow down the Shadow Fiend. But uh, we will see. Obviously, they're 
I don't know, they're generally pretty different heroes with Queen having a bit more early ganking potential, but nowadays Queen just goes off to the jungle as well because yeah. That's I mean, just what mid heroes do. They just carry number two. <laughs> yeah, I mean, looking at the, uh, the the lineup so far, I mean, there's not a lot of room for Quap to gank. <laughs> like, I mean, Undying is tanky. Much a free kill. Yeah, other than AA though. So you know, I suppose this, those two non-existent heroes are pretty difficult to gank as well. Yeah, you will struggle if they don't exist. <laughs> Right. But yeah, I mean, same for Shadow Fiend. I mean, Bane can be a problem to gank Tusk and Winter Wyvern. What do you do there? Mm, Although that yeah. Bane pickup is strange. Who who do you reckon we're going to see on off lane? Solo Tusk? Yeah, I mean, Solo Tusk is a fairly standard off lane, but maybe we're going to see some crazy Bane, Barana, Madness, and a farming Tusk. I mean, we can dream of some, some crazy things. I, I would enjoy that, but. I, at the same might time. be coming in really overconfident, you never know. They have won a previous tournament. We don't know too much about Southampton, whereas we know our LSE are certainly pretty uh, pretty reasonable team. But yeah, it's we'll worth see how things develop. It's worth mentioning as well that LSE are the only is it LSE the only ones so far that have played that haven't been knocked out yet because they haven't played, but you know. The other two from the last LAN, they've already been kicked out. And then we've got uh, UCL on Thursday. Out. So far, every London Uni has failed. Apparently, hmm. it's still too low. Oh, well, come on. Talk, shout. I don't want to shout. Right, okay, let's see. I blame production. Well, we've seen a Wraith King pick. I mean, should I an analyse it? Can people even hear me? Who knows? So that definitely implies that we're going to see an offlane here. Hopefully, the, the Wraith King I'm dying aggro scariness. Let's try this by it. turning me down a bit. Turning you down, me up. It's all very technical. But, um, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, final pick coming out now for LSE. They've banned Dazzle. They don't want to have to deal with any more armor manipulation with the Shadow Fiend on the go. Um, let's see. What are we going to see for their final pick? They, I mean, I assume that they need a carry. Probably a pretty hard carry unless they're going to go really early here. Maybe something, a PL could be quite interesting for the mana burn on the Reef Night King. Hopefully we're a bit more in sync now with volume. And there is the PL, but I mean... <laughs> you called it. It's tough being this good camp. I should probably work as like an analyst or something, I don't know. Hashtag send, you, uh, send requests for CVs. please. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, so final pick for Southampton, and what are we looking for here? We're looking for Off potentially lane. something which can solo safe lane for them, oh, yeah. so I think that could be an aggro try there. A pretty scary aggro try if they do do that. So, maybe something that can solo top against Tusk. Such as... Timbersaw could be quite interesting. Timber's pretty good versus PL. Obviously the mana burn's not the dream, but you do have great, uh, great nukes to kill all the illusions. Sorry about the, the quiet time there. Wife nearly sliced them off on some uh, scissors. She chooses the best time to do this. She's just done what? She's come and <laughs> tried to stab you with some scissors. Like, she's like, no. <laughs> Not quite. She came in and she's already like, warned the viewers about <laughs> physical abuse. Yeah, she's now like cutting herself and calling the police like preemptively. Oh my god. Getting some defense in there. No, she's uh, like, please, I need plaster. Get out of the room. If anyone that does live in the uh, Southport area, then. Try and get to Gan's house. Whoa! Thing. Just straight up giving me a address. I'll give him the postcode. I don't you? Yeah. I mean, you did send it to me the other day, right? I am, so, I'm not even to go full abuse on these uh, Sasha Yang building dudes. <laughs> nice <laughs> <You know. laughs> and the final pick, Night Stalker. So that could potentially be a solo Night Stalker lane. It's either that or it's going to be an off lane undying, which I don't think is quite as fun. But hmm. we will soon find out. We will soon find out. So the what players are thinking their heroes. What do you think with a Night Stalker against that? I mean, we said that. You know, Tusk, Wyvern, and Bane aren't particularly gankable. Night Stalker well, wants the ganks. The silence on Night Stalker is really good against Quain. Quain? Really good against Queen. Really good against Tusk. And it's really good against Wyvern. And Bane. To be honest, <laughs> it's good against every single hero on that team. Mm -hmm. Stops the juxtapose, is it? What for a pick. Hunter? What a pick. Yeah. Mm. Southampton going <coughs> through. How long does this screen last, by the way? What is this about? Well, it lasts up to a minute. Unless the players pick their heroes, but clearly Shadow Fiend's like, do I want to play Shadow Fiend? Ten Shall I pick Night Stalker? <laughs> maybe they're doing a bit of last minute things like, oh, how are we going to do our lane? So we're going to go aggro try. We're like not. mind games. 
I think they should. It's Maybe no fun. one wanted to play Night Stalker. Oh, you play Night Stalker. Oh, I'm driving this crazy thing, aren't I? You are indeed. Oh, no. You are Captain Camera today. Okay, so... What team would you enjoy introducing ready. this evening? Oh, and there's the pause by Southampton. Luckily, there's no, like, super crazy names today. Is there? Let's, let's have a little... Okay, well, we, while we've got this pause, maybe this is the perfect opportunity to introduce the teams. I totally... Um, I'm doing Owl. You're doing owls. <laughs> yes, okay. I'm doing owls. Sometimes known as Southampton. <laughs> no, owl. Oh, God. Okay, sorry for the language there, viewers. I mean, we'll hmm? find Alex. No price for him. Oh, okay. didn't even see that. Okay. Cover it with your hand. I'm pretty sure that's how <laughs> videoing works. Google Glass streaming. Let's do this. Let's get it on. Um, if anyone wants to comment on the old uh, mic situation, oh, better, better. Okay. They just want me quiet, that's it, they want to hear your delicate tones, that's the problem. Yeah, subtle, subtle and delicate, that's mm -hmm. what I aim for. Pleasing to the ear. Oh, there's some big uh, arcanas going on in the Shadow Fiend there. Oh, there is, he looks very pretty. We've also got Red Paul the Courier out. Are we going to introduce the players here, or are we just going to talk about how pretty people <laughs> are? I don't, I mean, this I'm is how I judge it, games, I mean, I've not checked out the other team yet, but uh, we'll just, okay, okay. On Southampton, we have Jin on the Ancient Apparition. Uemar. UMR on the Undying, Muzzard on the uh, Wraith King there, Solo on Shadow Fiend, and Night Stalker is played by UMR. You already did UMR again. Yeah, I know I did. That's the crazy thing. Wait, what? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's all too much. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. That's that's not on. Do you think he's got two computers and he's playing one hand on each? We'll be able to judge that soon, I suppose. Do you want to uh, do the Depending other thing? how bad they are. Yeah, sure. Okay, so on uh, on Tusk we have Road to Low Pro. I believe the last time he was called Road to 3K. Mm, yes, last time he was called Road to 3K, he was the uh, the really questionable plays guys doing some dodgy smokes and dodgy wards. So we'll look out for us trying to flame him as much as possible because frankly he deserves it. Mm -hmm. On uh, on Wyvern we have Shiva Chi, who I believe played Rubik in the finals last time. Pretty solid, pretty solid. Alex, who was too cool to make the finals of the last tournament, is playing Queen of Pain. Sometimes known as X Ol Iptic. Really annoying. Uh, yeah, hang on, have I got the names of the players wrong? 3K player is also Bane. Mm. 30 seconds mm. to go. Okay, Bane, 3K player. Finally, on Phantom Lancer, we have Grey Fluffy Bear. Who, right. uh, who was the Sanjay Yasha Phantom Assassin from last time. Which I'm sure everyone can remember mm -hmm. because uh, I mean that was a, a big day in the Dota community. There's a lot of pings and going on, I'm but this wrap around. Right now. I don't know what your thoughts are, but he is off on an adventure that could lead to his horrible demise. I think it's Jing. Oh, this is a big snowball. Game is on. Oh, do we have enough nuke damage? Yeah. Oh, he's oh, oh. There it is. The uh, first blood for LC. Great start for them. Oh, and uh, yeah, Queen gets a bounty on. And uh, Shadowfin gets a bounty, so mid's going to be nice and even. But now we can the, see uh, these lanes. We've got PL going up onto the hard lane. Indeed. So where I said that uh, Southampton would be doing an aggro try, I was completely wrong. And in fact, they are sending Night Stalker solo bot. And are we seeing dual lanes mid? Surely not. It looks like we might be getting both of these on the dual lanes. I think they might just be teasing each other mid, and they're going to head off soon. Although the um, having the ancient apparition there to help uh, the shadow feet get those first few last hits can be really nice with the souls. This is a bit of a risky behind. play from Bane. I mean, and he's harassing. Oh, he's just angry. I'm sure he is angry. <laughs> I mean, he shouldn't be too angry. He's already got first blood. I mean, what more do you want from a game? Natasha. <laughs> Great impressions. <laughs> and a nice bit of dewarding there from UMR exclamation mark who was dewarded his easy camp and I believe not blocked it I think that's just outside of where it is but we will see in the bottom lane this should be a vaguely even matchup Tusk maybe has a slight advantage until night time but uh, oh some good uh, both of them good harass getting, going on both of them should be getting reasonable XP down there <laughs> and farm where do we think the most fun lane to watch is going to be? I mean, I'd like to say mid. Bane is just like, nah, this is my side of the map now. Yeah, Bane's getting super aggressive. I think we're going to be seeing kills probably mid or top. 
I mean, Alex is taking a lot of damage here. He's gonna have to blink away and use his salvo, I assume. But no, he's, he reckons he's fine. Okay, he's not fine, he's not fine. He's salved away. And he's he's also... The Bane, the whole... This mid lane situation is madness, but Bane has successfully secured a regen rune. So and he's baited them away. Yeah, those last hits being missed there. So far, Bane... Pretty impressive plays, I would have to say. Indeed. He's certainly annoyed Southampton's mid players. And he's now gone top. Is he going to be able to make anything happen here? Moz had taken a lot of harass. PL's just busy farming. I think he should have gone a bit more hard. And this is going to be a dead Rave King. Can they get anything else is the question. I'm going to say... No. No. Yeah, he's got a lot of health. 900 health. Level 2. Number 1. I think one. that uh, Undying might be asking himself, why have I not got Tombstone right now? Because that probably would have given Rave King a bit of a chance, maybe? Because it would have slowed them down. They would have had to... It would have been more risky to die. But... Such is hindsight. Yeah, I mean, I think Bane was doing a lot of work. When I checked the last hits while he was there, it was 11 to the Co-op and 6 to the Shadow Fiend. But, I mean, yeah. Co-op is still getting all the denies. Yeah, 40 to 9. Well. As, we, as we said, though, Queen does have the, the advantage in Malayne early on, but as soon as Shadow Fiend gets the levels up in raids, it just becomes... It's not even a balanced lane, it's just a joke. Oh, we've got a rotation here. They've just the abandoned area. top lane, seemingly. Yeah, Bane's come back for a bit more harass. Oh, kill top. Yeah, How is that this happening? This is a dead undog. And they're that gonna get a, a bonus tie. 75 gold from the tombstone, which is often described as delicious in certain circles. Indeed. Oh, and oh there look like there could be a kill mid. He's very low on that shadow feed. Well yeah. he's dead, Alex goes in and gets the kill. I think Bane might be able to get frozen though, he might be going down here. One more right click. Ooh, just about he doesn't have it. The boots that he bought at level one really pay off there to be honest. I have to say, mid is doing a lot of work right now. I mean, top's doing pretty well, but you need to keep a lid on that Shadow Fiend, and they're really doing it. They really are. Alex, who uh, did was missing in action for the last game, proving that um, maybe he does deserve to be on the team after all. See the Even if again? some people were saying he can only play Zeus. <laughs> Ult heroes honest, only. Who can't yeah, play Zeus, you know? Not really a high skill hero, is it? I heard that Quat wasn't even that bad nowadays. Oh, Quop has blinked onto potentially a double damage Night Stalker. This could be very scary. Let's hope he doesn't waste the silence. Oh. And he doesn't. Oh, End of the Quop. Wow. 473 did, uh, gold for that. We just Already. did the world famous casters jinx where we were like, Quop's doing really well. And then, uh, <laughs> we mixed in some BM to try and um, mix it up. Radiant's bottom tower ain't a pretty sight right Oh, and Night Stalker might be coming in for a bonus kill here on oh. the Bane, the other player who we said is doing well. And so, he is going to be dead, and that is some delicious oh. souls for Nice Walker. I thought he got away with it then, but that rain's coming in. Oh, oh god, I think Alex is going to be pretty sad with himself, because I think if he just did one right click on uh, Shadow Fiend, then it would have been a dead Shadow Fiend. Yeah. But that is kind of the uh, annoying thing about Shadow Fiend. He's gone from being really far behind <laughs> to suddenly sat on 22 souls, and he's just going to have a really easy time of last hitting in this lane. Yes, I mean, the only, I think one disappointing thing we can say for Southampton is, where are the stacks? Where are the stacks, the stacks, where the stacks? stacks you? I mean, fair enough, it's not like their supports haven't been busy, because they've constantly been getting ganked by this scary, scary bane, but every Shadow Fiend loves a good stack. Yeah, <laughs> he's got brown boots, and... Uh, you know, brown boots and a branch, he needs them stacks. Dem stacks, dem stacks. But, I mean, look at the last hits. Lancer is absolutely raking him in. I mean, even Wraith King's last hitting well now. Yep. Although, he's getting inked again. Is he gonna go down? I believe yep. the answer is yes. He's, he's dead, dead So, uh, Southampton have changed their lanes completely. Oh, <laughs> and Shadow King dies with Oh, I missed that one. I'm trying to it improve my camera work, but it's. Uh, kill, but I think that the support is gonna. The support from Bane saves him. What a surprise! Bane making players yet again. Who is this guy? Is this not? No, it's not the guy we need to be. Um, I can't remember who it's that not. is. They're changing the names just to play with us. Yeah, I think they just want us to be everyone, maybe. I think they've just called out that ward. They know where it is. Yeah, they bought the sentry, but look how close that is. That's got to be frustrating, right there. <laughs> yeah, it is. That is close. Did you like my uh, drawing? There? There's a really small measurement that I'm not allowed to say on Twitch. 
Uh, I think you are allowed to say on Twitch, but here at Game Britannia we like to keep things PG. Okay, well, it's a reference of Butchers, and you're not allowed to make it. Reference of Butchers? For those who don't know, Butch, a friend of the show. Uh, I I can't think what it is because I'm very young and innocent, you know. Mm. I don't deal with those kind of obscenities. Looks like they wanted right. to gank bottom again. Yep, Shiba Chi. That's going to happen. Scared. That is the end of uh, Shiba Chi. Early arcane boots of support. I think support. Bertie has made no. some poor decisions though. I think he should have tried to fly away over the trees. Agreed. Obviously, we did have the advantage of seeing that Night Stalker was charged again like a killer. But I mean, to be fair, he saw the the Gotham Observer Ward, he would have seen that as well. Yeah, so. Misplays. Shiva Chi. Shiva Chi. But yeah, we do have some potentially advantageous. And Shadow Fiend is getting dive mid here. Tusk's gone in, Bane's come in, He's stole the kill. Because he needs a bit more gold. Can Night Stalker turn this around? I'm inclined to say no. And he is also inclined to believe that the answer is no. Which is uh, which is handy for him, because otherwise I think he would have died. Meanwhile, top lane, Ethan is uh, farming away. He's gone for the Eternal Envy Mango build on the uh, PL. He's gone for some cheeky trades. So what do you think we're going to see for PL? Are we going to see the I'm Yasha? I'm going to see standard, I think. I think we're going to see a defusal. Drake defusal. There, there is quite a lot of fighting going on. He is getting ganked now. Well, it's a questionable gank because of it really is. Is this the scariest lane? The bottom tower seemed better than. Even arrived to lay There's down no some ult, but he's going to have it soon. Sometimes known as the destroyer of worlds is also. Will around. he level the ult in time? Trouble brewing at Radiant's bottom tower. He's taken his ult. Oh. No, no use for them. Dead it. Radiant's mid towers and getting Alex banged goes up. goes down in the mid lane. After all that praise. Yeah, I mean he's still he's still far ahead on the Radiant's network, but uh, Shadow Fiend hand. obviously is just so good at catching up. He would be better at catching up if there were some stacks on the go. Hint, nudge, wink to the uh, Southampton supports. But I wonder if we've got any stream snipers. If they suddenly start stacking at 11 minutes, then we might find ourselves <clears> wondering. <throat> well, it's worth here? mentioning we've got a blocked camp on the right. We've got a failed stack attempt on the mid camp. We're not bothered with the the second one, but yeah, that is, that's nice. Actually. Radiant's mid tower. Could you and who's placed that? Is it gonna is it gonna be a uh, Bane? Three K player. Bane, yeah. Doing work. Gank attempt on bottom, but the ult not doing anything. Oh, yeah. Safe ah. from um, I'm dying. What do we think that um, Queen is building here with the staff of wizardry? Maybe he thinks he's still playing Zeus. It's like, let's, let's let's build Axe. Axe. Yeah. <laughs> every this, every is, hero. Is she going to go Axe, or is this going to be a Yules? The Dyer best do something about that bottom tower. We've not seen a whole lot of items. I think it's going to be an Axe. Yeah, I think it's too. I mean, the normally, Dyer obviously, the build is the Orchid tower. into BKB, but Orchid doesn't do that much in this game, actually. No. I mean, obviously, you know, Orchid's always nice, but there's no one who you're like, wow. They're getting all kid against X Y Z. So uh, maybe we'll see uh, an Axe rush into maybe BKB. I think so. I think we're going to see a assault curas. I do enjoy a bit of assault curas thing. Hmm. Not seen that one in a while myself. Well, clearly you weren't watching enough of the Frankfurt majors because I really was I was too sad that I couldn't be there, crying all over the show. Not surprised, not surprised. Look all the goodies you could have bought as well. And Ethan does not dodge the stun with his um, doppelganger, so that's going to cost him his life. Bit of a late TP, I went to Wyvern, not saving anyone. It was, but. Ooh, uh, dive on to uh, Undying. Tusk. Can he get it? No, you don't have to tell Ethan. That is annoyingly low on the Undying. You gonna kill the zombies? Oh, oh gosh. God, it's, it's scary watching. I mean, I <clears> imagine <throat> being that and dying. No, he's just bailed back to base. I don't blame him. Is Night Stalker doing enough? He's got a couple of kills, but now he's just sort of. I think he's BA's about to go straight around. Axe. I, I do enjoy some phase boots before Axe. I just enjoy a lot of items before Axe on Night Stalker. He's gonna go for treads, which is fine, which is fine. Makes him a bit more tanky. I mean, I'll, I definitely think Ags is the build, but... Oh, we could be seeing a gank top. But something before it could be the strike. 
is AA going to get away with this? I think he's scared. He certainly is scared. And Bane's he should be. just like, oh, cancels the TP. I think that was a mistake. Ethan does come in to put a slow on Shadow Fiend, which hopefully is going to, well, hopefully, depending who you're rooting for, it is hopefully going to save a life. Is this a bait? Oh, they haven't seen the extra two players. Oh, no. And Shadow Fiend gets a, a, a double kill top, which is going to help triple him massively kill. after catching up. Oh, not quite a triple kill. Alex does TP in top as well. So this is going to be another all. all five players top for uh, LSE, and they've got absolutely nothing for it and lost three. Mm. I mean, they've still got a clock with all. They could take something here. They're TPing in more, but I, I'm not sure if this is the play. 30 seconds for all time. Oh, maybe. nice wyvern ult. Mm -hmm. With the uh, queen, queen of pain also awesome stacked on top. And that does get them two return kills, but... Yeah, we see a Shadow Blade finished on the Shadow Fiend now. Shadow Blade, Shadow Fiend. Mm. What other Shadow items can you get? If only you played in the shadows just before the game, or did you? And I missed it. I uh, can't remember, I'd have to check my playlist. I was too busy loving up some, some Darude action. What did Darude come out of it? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, I apologised before I did it. Did you? <laughs> yes. Okay, well that, that's fine I guess. Oh, was that what the I'm sorry dot dot <laughs> And we have a pause from LSE. Is this a BM pause? I can, I can get behind some BM pause. The casual reconnect pause game, nothing, nothing to worry about. <sighs> you, yeah. Good job Jimmy the admin has not gone off to have his dinner. Uh, potential small concern there, but you know, nothing to worry about I'm sure. What is the rule concerning pauses? Uh, I think it goes something along the lines of, uh, don't be an idiot, basically. Sounds like a good rule, and how does Jimmy enforce this? With the ban hammer, I hope. Yeah, uh, it's actually more of a sledgehammer. Uh. Especially as uh, LSE is nice and close by to him, as he's a... UCL student, so we can just pop over straight into our lecture hall and uh, start clubbing people. Indeed. Let's have a quick look at items. Um, Quop is going for the old Yules, I believe. Yep. Uh, can't Radiant cut a phantom yet. Why I think Yules is probably a pretty good strategy versus the Night Stalker Silence, and you can also dodge the, uh, the Wraith King stuns. Indeed. So Wait for your cooldown on the old. Um, Blink arena. Blink, yeah. Trouble brewing at Radiant's bottom tower. Tusk Don't doesn't have a whole lot of anything. Fiend, didn't follow it up. He's shadow blade. Do not have any dust. He's only just got the, the blade though, I guess, so uh, yeah, the Yules is finished. We do have a, a cheeky sentry on the uh, Winter Wyvern though, so there is some kill potential. He's got a smoke well, on us. Alex comes in with the Yules. He Revealed. is trying to deward that ward, but I mean, it's only got 10 seconds left anyway, so. It's going to be a bit of a bittersweet victory when they get a bomb instead. 50 gold. Yeah, I mean, you... Uh, Big push here. Radiant Most of Radiant aren't there, though. Are they just going to leave it? Indeed, I think they might be trying to trade this for the bottom tier one and just delay it with the wire. No TP on the tower is coming apart. But TP nice cooldown on Phantom. He wants a bonus gun. He's angry. He's cutting around the woods. Towers in trouble. Tower and leave. Okay, so Free tower for the die though, they're going to be happy with that. Well, they're going to defend bottom then. And. Regeneration. I'm interested to see what item Shadow Fiend's going to go here. Any prediction? Oh, oh we're going to big gank bottom. I think we might be seeing lifesteal coming in. <laughs> because if he BKBs, he's just going to get Bane ulted. Oh, here we go, big ult. Could be interesting, Ethan could be in trouble here. He doesn't, he isn't able to dodge it, he's taking a lot of new damage, but nice wide and ulti onto Shadow Fiend, he's taking a lot of damage, but does survive. Nice stalker has arrived and it's pretty scary. Shall we may die here? Trading of nukes He's going dead. on. He's dead. What's that worth? What's that worth? The Shadow Fiend does go down, which is obviously a huge kill, but they do get the uh, equivalent of the offlane for LSE, the Tusk, and that support. They've, they've brought them down to 18 souls, which is always nice. I mean, 18 is still a lot, but. Uh. And uh, while we've discussed the happenings of bottom, Queen of Pain picks up. A very casual ancient apparition kill in the mid lane. Using and then uh, ulting. Pretty pretty textbook stuff right there. It was too boring, I didn't even bother not I, watching that. Know, no. I think I've pretty much said everything that needs to be said about it, right? Indeed. Yule, Yule's nuked dead. You know, no, no skilled plays there. Super Alex standard wins. earn from Nightstalk. Yep, and maybe now we will accept him going into the axe, will we? 
I think we will. Okay, I'll let him do it now. You sure? Or can you leave? Mm. I mean, I think it's the play now. What choice do I have? I'm not happy about it, but what choice? <laughs> oh, you can I mean, say what you're like. <laughs> We're here to hate. Oh, we? Okay. <laughs> Atrocious players from all, all I'm here so. to hate. You've got to be nice. Good, cu good oh, caster, okay. bad I'm caster. Nice guy, I'm, I'm bad caster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's Camera work pro. Right. UMR of the UMR twins. Just having a little wonder while. Uh... Wait, which was the other UMR? Where is he? It's um, mm. it's undying and night stalker, isn't it? Okay, so they're both together. So it's it's not inconceivable that they're um. Oh, ganked up. Well, yep. here. The red team does have ultimate, so there is time for Southampton to get there to back him up for life number two. And they are rotating over to do Miss on the ice, but ice bus coming in. Hits two. Three. Hits three. Cropped in the intention of cleaning up. And he has got a double damage on Shadowfing as well, but is he going to go down for he has to do damage with a nice heal from Undying? Shiba Chi absolutely explodes, and this double damage Shadowfing is walking around looking rather scary, it has to be said. Yep. Alex is Extra. hiding on the back line, starting to ask himself... Why did he I cancel hit? that TP? Why? No, he didn't TP. Why is he They're here? chasing down with Tusker, I think they're going to get him. Nice bonus killer. This is mayhem. Meanwhile, Shadowfiend continues to make use of his DD by clubbing the tower down. What I'd like to see a bit of creep skipping from Alex here. He can just kill the wave that would slow them down more. But, um, he's off from the The Radiant got one last top tower. Are you going to defend mid against... Radiant bottom tower. Tell me what right now. Do. Dyer's mid towers having technical yeah. difficulties. So the how this is going to pan out late game. What are your thoughts? No, let's have a look. Let's see. The Dyer's structure. Drop some knowledge on Dyer's mid tower. Well, PL is a brilliant pick up against the the, uh, hang on the Wraith King. Tower. It's not in, not incredible against the Shadow Fiend with the raises until he gets his some tanky illusions. Yeah, he's also not too great against AA. No, or the uh, the undying for that matter. But yeah, I, I think that if if it really goes late game, it could just come down to that. PL is good, but they've got better core on the out on uh, Al <laughs> Southampton. Yeah, it's gonna be quite interesting when it goes late because the Wyvern is gonna do so much against all those calls because as long as Wyvern doesn't ult. I'm dying? It doesn't really matter. All the other kills are worth so much. True, and all that time you're just getting more illusions out, more damage, more mana burn. I mean, you take reduced damage if you're not the uh, the focus of the Wyvern, but you're still going to take a burn. Indeed. As uh, as Nicki Minaj would say, true that, true that. <laughs> I wondered which of uh, Nicki Minaj's many um, quotable quaffs were going to come out. Mm -hmm. The Oxford Dictionary really... they're spoiled for choice. In Wasn't fact, the, I think the Oxford Dictionary like word of the year was a smiley emoji. I don't know if you saw that. I but was sick in my mouth in my car when that happened. Is that a real thing? I kind of hoped that was a lie. <laughs> it was real. Bane's gonna come in and oh Shadow Fiend. Oh, but where's the dust? Bane. Bane, he was making plays, but now he's asleep. I tried to be on your side, Bane, but I think he was close. doing so well that he started googling this awesome phone that they win if they get to the end and. An awesome phone, you say? Mm-hmm. Uh, what phone would that be? Oh, I think it's the Honor 7. I mean, the it's... The uh, 7? I mean... Isn't that by Huawei, who also make the Nexus for the uh, Google? They make a Nexus, you say? It sounds like those guys really know what they're doing. I think they do. I think they're pretty decent. I mean... There will be... For some, for some free swag here? Because I've never had plugs so good. <laughs> they almost sound rehearsed. What do you think I've done at work all day? Just You've been there. rehearsing uh, little adverts. Mm -hmm. Have you been watching various advertising? Reading specs? Yeah, I've been like saying, hey, hey, Rich at work, you know, what uh, What do you think of this Huawei product? Like, is that the correct pronunciation, Huawei? I, b I believe so. What do you think it is? I don't know, because <laughs> I mean, I was told to just keep saying honour. Honour, honour, honour. Honour, honour, honour. Uh, yeah. Oh, gank on bottom. Yeah, the way I'm we... not sure that was the best use of the user charge I've ever seen, but maybe I'm about to be proven wrong. As Nice Stalker oh, doesn't die though, the um, two of the ice combined blast. use of the mech and the soul rip there, healing Nice Stalker from pretty much dead to full HP in a matter of near seconds. And the ice blast making it so they couldn't die. They'll dive after it. Gary Invisible Pretty Shadow Fiends turned up, but there is a Sentry Ward down, so the Radiant are trying to make something happen, or not, no, as he TPs into the mid lane and says, <coughs> goodbye, my friends. 
Do we have an insight on what he's going yet? He went the defusal. Shadow Fiend is going to go for BKB before lifesteal, which... Not your, I don't know. Not believing in that? I don't know. I mean, obviously BKB is nice. It removes the a lot of Queen of Pain's damage. Removes the mana burn. But when you've got Bane ult, Wyvern ult, and Queen ult, that will potentially days. go for the BKB. No breaking down the radiant structures like this. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to see some life leech, especially against someone who's going to drag you down slowly like the PL at range. Bottom towers. Keep your tough top tough. Dyer's mid -towers yeah, I mean, it's definitely not a bad item, but I think he would. Yeah, I think it's fine. At some point, he's going to want a butterfly to do to help tank the PL illusions. There's a lot that he wants in this game, to be honest, to try and uh, deal with this. So I, I think BKB is fine. I'm not going to kick off about the BKB. No. Are you? No. no, I'm just upset that there's a fledgling camera and everyone's so spread out. You know, I like them all nice and nice little clumps, so I can just film them all. Battle Fair to enough. the death in mid or we'll something. And there is a gang going on on racing top. There is the mana burn from PL we talked about. And, and he is yeah. dead, as they say, on the streets. And Reincarnation on cooldown, but couldn't use it because of that d early defusal. Yeah, they are potentially going to get a bonus kill in the form of a Bane, and he is very dead. Yeah, we've got a, uh, Tusk, Tusk as well. He's got low health. He's dead. But okay. he did enough Bane. work to save the Bane. Away. So that's a, a good trade for the Radiant, they'll be happy with that. That's a dead Wraith King. Wraith King is going to go Radiance, which is pretty damn annoying for a PL to deal with. Especially now it's buffed. Mm. When you're a PL, you probably are not that keen to find yourself longer. building MKB. Indeed, plus he doesn't really even... I mean, it delay his need for the Butterfly. Because it is a, an aura. Let's do something chat about how to pronounce. Why? The why? I believe that is the correct Hawaii. Hawaii. Pronounced who? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm worried that I'm now getting trolled. There's going to be some lies, isn't there? It's pronounced yeah. brown. It's pronounced, no, it's not. <laughs> but at the end of the day, guys, it doesn't really matter how it's pronounced as long as you go out of your way to go and buy an on the 7 phone. If Wait. you're not doing that right now, then what are you really doing with your life? I hear that black sales are on because of the old Black Friday with... Uh, I think it's actually Cyber Monday now, Gant. Cyber Monday? Well, that sounds like a technology-based thing that uh, Huawei with the uh, Honor 7 <laughs> would be part of. If, that's, if your pronunciation is wrong, which I think it is, then it's probably better. You should, you should have words with someone in marketing. If it is wrong... Which it, I've been which saying, safe to say that it is. I've been saying it wrong all day. <laughs> <laughs> when I've been doing a marketing speech in front of the, uh, the office. You've <laughs> been practicing all day. Captive audience of 150, come on guys. I want to talk to you about this amazing new product from Huawei. No, please stop now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Just Generation. last thing I'll add, it does look legit. No joke. No joke. No, no jokes. No JKs. We're only 25 minutes in and about, probably about a third of that content has been uh, spent plugging phone. <laughs> and I mean, that's fine because it's a really good phone. <laughs> I thought we were stopping. <laughs> what are we stopping? I don't know, you need to fight because it's the only thing that stops us talking about the brilliant phone Huawei. Brilliant phone you say? Mm. Okay, okay, let's actually stop now. Let's look at this Wraith King because he's about to buy his Radiance and I do enjoy Radiance. I think there's going to be a ganked up. There Let's is. look and at that. Dust this time, we've seen some they do. Push. We have a dust. We oh, have an ult. Look at that ult. No mana for the. Uh, oh. And the dust. There we go. That was a very nice ultimate from the bane. Then. Yes, it was. Came from behind the trees, so Shadowfiend had no chance. He didn't. Um, he didn't even click a creep executed. accidentally. It was. Talking of things that are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Skinny okay, Eric. Sure. <laughs> okay, we'll see, we'll go I, think, I think we all knew what I was thinking of there. And the fact that you knew what I was thinking means mm. that someone's been doing some great work on the platform. Let's see. Oh, they're pinging out for Roche. Who's that? Who? Oh no, it's a Tusk. They think the is it? Uh, I was asking to check. The, uh, the better Roche lineup with Shadow Fiend just being the yeah, king, king of Roche and pretty much. And um, Wraith King with the. I mean, Wraith King is brilliant to have the, the life on anyway, but yep. um, getting like, you know, potentially four lives if you can drag the fight out. But, yep, um, that is, that's very correct. Have you seen the uh, the old Aghanim's Wraith King in recent weeks? All I've seen of the Aghanim's Wraith King is people forgetting to play the ghost character. 
forgetting. Yeah. It's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Because, like, you weird. die, and then you, ah, oh, you rage, you throw your mouse, and then you go, oh, no way, I'm still alive, and you get your mouse back, and then your character dies again. You know? yeah. Best axe ever. Interesting one. I, have not, I haven't seen it in competitive yet, that's for sure. I just... I don't... And this is pretty much as competitive as it gets right here. Well, that's right. After all, the prize is five times on a seven phones, and that's a delicious prize. I'd be happy with that. I mean, I can only use one phone at once, but I'd take five. You could, you could definitely use at least two. Make one of they're, those they're, like, they're, they're, they're a very suitable size. To, they're just pretty much, I'd say, the perfect size to hold in one hand. So you could have one in each hand, no problem. <laughs> Guys, please I, fight. I think we are about to see a smoke from Dyer here, so here is some real action. With a slight about. giveaway non-smoked courier chasing them. Uh, it's fine. They didn't walk across the board, so here we go. Here's the smoke. They're gonna go into the Rodian jungle, and they're gonna <laughs> walk into Vayne. And they've, the they've still got the courier following. Oh no. A kill is a kill. Oh, the smoke pops, and there is a really nice uh, glimmer cape from Vayne. But they've totally predicted which way he's going. And he's going to casually walk away. Die at the bottom I tower. think this is a dead bait. Oh, quite a nice more to tusk. I think he's going to stop any further aggression. Oh, there was some definite, definite potential for a wide announcement there, but I think at the end of the day, if the enemy smokes and you only lose your bait, you're probably fairly happy, but this could. They are wasting a lot of time on five heroes. What I would say, though, is should they have turned that into Roshan? I think so. They should, I mean, they could be in there now. It could be, be dead done. by now, I think. It'd be done. Yeah. With a Shadow Fiend and a, uh, and a Wraith King. And a Night Stalker. I mean, he's he does some deeps. The Radiance has been finished. I mean, he's you know, blade mailed up as well. He's a horrible hero to deal with now. Yeah. The Radiance is just so effective with that mischance. Especially when you're dealing with probably. What is it? Oh, scared. Max Illusions. Seven. Seven PL Illusions. The mischance spread across them all really adds up. Playing, playing the maths game, though. Especially as you're not just dodging the hit, you're dodging that mana burn, which is important for the fact that you know reincarnation. Yep. Very much correct. Mm -hmm. What um what do we think for the Wraith King next? I really like the Blink. Does it keep mail? Let's see what yeah, I mean they don't really have much more in um the way of initiation. I mean we've got the Shadow Fiend going in, but you don't really want him nuked as soon as he pops out with his ult. You'd want yeah, a fight you started. You don't want to rely on a Shadow Blade either, do you? No. When you're dealing with uh, Bane, who's quality on point. players like this uh, questionable, questionable Wyvern plan. Is it Wyvern who I need to flame? Who am I flaming again? I just, I'm flaming Tusk. I just flame them all, man. Okay. Blanket. These questionable LSE players. And here is the Roche we talked about. You might be asking yourself, why did they not do this when Bane was there? And you would be right to ask yourself that question. They prefer a more fair fight. You know, it's not fair to do it when the other team's dead, is it? That's potentially true, though. Do they know? They're gonna dust. Surely this is a dust to ask you for. They're just wasting time, though. Do Bellic they know? finally turns up with the old uh, armor aura, and suddenly Roshan is getting popped into the ground, and we can only assume that this is gonna be given to the Shadow Team. Roche LSE do start rotating, but it's too late. Are they gonna try anything? <coughs> Don't think. have to have split up. Alex just instantly is going to get nuked down here. The Yule's paying off though, he doesn't manage to keep himself alive. A really nice dodge on the uh, AA ult by Wyvern, who is now able to rotate onto uh, Nice Dodge. PL cleaning up a few kills on the back line, but uh, the Radiant have already lost their offlane and their support. I think they needed to just cut oh. losses on that and leave. I mean, I'm inclined to agree, and uh, we see Nice Stalker pick up a bonus Wyvern on his way out of the fight. Using the agonims to great effect there to chase Wyvern as he tries to fly over the trees. Yeah, the only the only thing that can be taken from that that was good for Radiant is that you know the quad Dyer's and the PL got tower. away. You know, but the Yule's definitely paid for itself there as he was able to save his save his life. I mean, a quick gander at net worth, I mean, for a long time it was all about the uh, quad and the Phantom Lancer. Now, that's a questionable blink. TP. TP but he's confident, he's confident in his skills. We did say that tower. Shadow Fiend, however bad a start he's going to have, he's going to catch up, and that's exactly what he's done. Yeah, he's taken and over now. And I think now. the itemization on the player is tower, extremely the solid at this uh, The I radius rotation. I totally missed something. that, I'm afraid. I was watching some brilliant plays again. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We, we're only missing the ancient apparition kills. 
to the point where some people might be suspecting that maybe Jim has uh, paid us to miss all his kills so people think he's good. I heard he was an Apple user, so I can't watch it. An Apple user? <laughs> They're not made by Huawei, I know that much. Huawei! Top tower Amy, deniable. Amy are they gonna do it? They are. Good, good, good. Away, way, ways. Away, way, ways. Bottom tower's oh, been no. disowned. Oh, no. We no, could only have the looks of a little. Mr. Wilkin from Away, way. He's not currently listening. Whoa. Although maybe we should hope he is because the amount of plugging that's been going down is. Gamma move. If you're gonna, if you're gonna we'll try and. Get in trouble with Twitch. It's, there's definitely a H at the beginning of Away, way. Away, way. Away, way. Sounds like maybe the beginning of a football chant. Maybe there's something there that we can uh, write a song for the future. I'm not singing it though, but I hear you'd love to. A load of football hooligans sat outside like a factory. I believe they're a Chinese company? Football hooligans? I don't know if you turned up to the last event, but there was a lot of Yobbo Dota fans there, let me tell you. A lot of gangsters. And this is a dead man. He's exploded. But. Yep. I mean, all I'll say about that is it's four people top. If yep. if Radiant are farming away, you can lose a bane to take four people's attention. Yep, and this queen is farming away, and I think she's definitely wanting. He might be forced that to go BKB, down, but she already does have one defensive item in the all, so he might want to think about the sheep next. Yep, I mean, so we've got uh, four people wandering around, down, we've got the AK apparition the sitting solo just so they can be ganked extra easily. To be honest, if you rotate your whole team to kill an agent apparition, is it even worth it? Mm. Probably not. <laughs> is it? I mean, no. seriously, like, no. it's not no, worth it. it is not. It is not worth it. Ancient apparition is going for the uh, the Aghanims, as one would expect. He's gone for the um, the Midas to speed up his levels, and when he gets that, that is going to be huge versus this PR. Have you seen that flag, middle? That is a, such a nice flag. Anyway, back oh. to the game. Some of the artwork for LSE is truly stunning. I don't suppose you uh, know who the artist is? I uh, will. I mean, I'd imagine artwork of that quality was probably done by Admiral Kunker, but uh, we'll get confirmation in the break. Okay, well. <laughs> so you're happy to plug other people, but not yourself. Well, <laughs> I'm modest. I'm modest. Cool. Yeah, you know. Modest. Humble, the right word as well. Does humble yeah. just mean the same thing? I think humble's got something to do with pie. But the dyer might want to mine the tower. Yeah. Okay. Oh, are you going to see the PL? Uh, PL wants some, he's on his own, but he's Dyer's just like, come get some brosses. Beat down. And what are we expecting from PL? <sighs> to get fat and then take it to like two hours and slowly, slowly drain the Dyer's willpower to live and then just take the towers off them, I think. Yeah, I mean, what items were you expecting? Oh, what <laughs> Not his aims for the game, which we can only assume involves taking towers or something. Um, I think he's going to go hard. Yes, I'm, I'm inclined to agree. We're so, we're so... Is that going to be next? No, it looks like he's... He's got no them. How long has he had that? Mm, I imagine he's had that from the laning phase since he was going impressive. Is he? I mean, there's, there's not necessarily anything wrong with a, <coughs> with a Scardy. It does give a, quite a similar amount of health to the heart. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, I can see a Scardy working, actually. Yeah, I mean, it's nice for the slow. <laughs> I've just noticed the, the Aegis has just been reclaimed. They didn't do anything with that really. I mean LSE were dodging them around the map, so maybe they were trying and couldn't really get it, but it's true. They, did they could have pushed the tower. Kills, but, um, maybe they're happy to go late. We did say that they were probably had the better lineup there, but um, Yeah, I think going late is this Another is smoke mid. And oh, nice dog sure. pop in the smoke just so everyone knows that there's a gank coming. I'm not sure if popping the nice dog rolls that was the play though, because the Radiant are now scared and they're running away. Yeah, it's, oh no, the, the nice dog popped his ult, I wonder why he did that. There is the um, the gem pickup on Night Stalker, so that's pretty damn scary for the Radiant in terms of vision. They can expect to be rewarded left, right, centre. He's got much. that vision, look at that, it's absolutely it's disgusting. Scary. I mean, like if you go to a standard view, I mean, that's sort of what a player sees. It's more than a screen, it's horrible. You expect to see a moon shard to make it even more horrible? That's my favourite build. I mean, it's not the best, but it's such a boost to the to the vision. It, it stacks like hard. additively, doesn't it? Yep. I wonder if uh, 
in whatever that weird hero mode is called. Ability drop. You could also get the Lunar passive, which gives you some. And there is a fight going on before I continue theory crafting. And the question is, I guess, is Ray King going to die with his ultimate? Yes, he does. He is not able to pin down the ball. The Shadow Fiend ult goes off, but he is pinned down by Wyvern. A nice ult from Bane. Obviously, uh, Ray King is on his second life, but he's gone down already. And a buyback on Hero, which is pretty dangerous. If he dies again, the game's over. Alex also taking each, and he's gone down too. Also forced to buy back, so this is a huge amount of gold committed by the Rage in here for this fight. And honestly, I don't think they can do much here at all. Three heroes. It's still like a full lineup from uh, from the dire side. Yeah, I'm a double buyback on both the calls, which is absolutely horrible. You know you're not winning the fight when the, you get the double buyback and they still dire want to take you for the fight. Yeah, that is scary. Honestly, I don't think they they're probably just happy with this and they wait for Roshan and push. I think. Yeah, they're backing away. Because they forced the buyback. The 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 <laughs> Cowards, kittens. Look at the gold draft. A uh, gold draft. Probably not the giraffe, but maybe the graph. Then you'll see that um, the dire have got a nice big spike there because the radiant just lost a big pile of gold. That's how it looks. See, that is a rather large spike. Looked like they were sort of stemming the bleed a bit, pulling it back, but yeah, they were doing some really nice split pushing. But it only takes one fight and two buybacks to uh, to ruin the dream. The 10k swing of advantage in uh, XP as well. And. Just to add insult to injury, we have a really low time on Have the you seen that? It spawns as he's still got the uh, the vision. Will he see it? They've seen I'm it. Sure They're going for it. They are, yeah. So this is pretty much the dream situation for Southampton here. They've just forced two buybacks, now they can get Aegis and push again. And they know that if they kill Queen or PL, they've probably won the game. It's um, quite impressive that they've done the research and they're coming out fighting. Yeah. There were some rumours before the game that Southampton have some issues with players. I'm not sure if they're using standings, they might be, but if they are, all the more impressive. And as a, uh, a London resident, it has to be said, scary times for London leaders right now. We've already lost KCL and Queen Mary's, and LSE not looking the strongest in game one. Yeah, bring some it's north teams they're in. Not looking strong. It's that Southampton are represented. Invisibility! Yeah, I mean, they, they lost the early game but they really did come back swinging. I think what we're looking at now, we're just looking at some really tanky calls from Southampton that <laughs> yeah. LSE just aren't farmed enough to deal with yet. And I don't think they're going to be farmed enough to deal with them anytime soon. They're not letting up, are they? they they're not giving them that chance. It looks like they are going to go and try and finish off the tier 2s before they go to Rax, but I think this Tusk might be having a few very minor problems. Or He's potentially about to get major ones, some, depending some how you pain going them. in. Tombstone down. Nice blink from Rick King, but I think that instead of just cashing in on the free Tusk kill, they tried to get greedy and instead got nothing. <laughs> Indeed, Tusk just blinking and ruffling out there. What's a blink? No, running. Blinking? He blunk. Gin is currently just... having a, uh, a nap. <laughs> Natasha Nightmare. The more, if anyone from Valve is listening, then Gant is available for voice work. Very competitive race. Here's a little, um, little fact for you. The uh, the voice actor for Night Stalker voices really Zoom in, in The Flash. Shape. There you go. What a fact. What an F. What a fact. Where has that come from? <laughs> Honestly. Radiant top voice acting. It's, it's they sound identical. He's, I don't think he's the most flexible, but it does sound awesome. <laughs> he's got, uh, what voice do you do? How do you play? Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. Do scary monster voice. Night Stalker. That's the five minute reinforced time we've gone for the Radiant for a tier 2, and I mean, we can be 100% sure that Southampton are going to be looking to push the base round. With Aegis. I'm inclined to say that, that was not the reinforce. No, we've got BKB coming out and see item from Night Stalker. Is that what you called? I can't remember. That. Um, I'm going to say yes, just to sound clever, but I can't really remember why I called. Oh, we've got a Sanjin Yasha on uh, Shadow Feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sanjin Yasha is the G on Shadow Feet. And Shadow Feet, the big old, 
Queen's up. Oh, there is a dead bait. As long as Queen and Piel don't die, does survive the Shadow Beam. It's just so damn tanky. And he has the, uh, the ages anyway. So another buyback forced by the Radiant, and Dyer have lost absolutely no one so far. I think they might just have to say goodbye to this Rex, but we will see if uh, Alex, the LSE captain, disagrees with them. They're all pretty low, I mean, the right plays could then end this aggression. Oh, no. Any dust. Dust. Yeah, well, you just go down. Alex is about to have the ultimate backup of Queen of Pain, so there's going to be the potential for Morpus there. She does blink forward, she's got the Yules to save herself from this zone. Doesn't get it off. Oh, really nice heal from Wyvern, but still no no time to get the Yules off for Alex, so that ult goes. So dead. Oh, you can have a nice stock, a gem on the floor. <laughs> Extremely tight fight here. Shadow Beam goes down for the second time. No way just to bring him back, and it looks like, incredibly, it's a good bane all. Except for one small issue, which is this scary, scary Wraith King. He does have an ultimate, but if he goes down a second time and loses the gem here, then the gold swing is going to be absolutely huge. Indeed. And he cashing any bonus kills before he goes down. They're all pre. They're all extremely Cheeky. low, but wow. I, mean, and I don't know about you, but I'm excited to have a little look at this. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> it, it, it barely moved, the graph barely moved. Really? Look at the gold graph. It might not have fully checked in yet. Ah, oh, true. Although it does. Uh, there was the buyback on Wyvern, which probably didn't help things, but overall. It's I a good couple of K swing on XP, though. It's a good hold for the Radiant. Only I, I'm I'm impressed actually. Only losing the Iraq, uh, the the tower to that. There's no Rax damage whatsoever. It's yep, and really I think good. they're going to be very happy with that, especially as they think they killed breaking three times in that fight, and the Shadow Beam twice, and all it cost them was one buyback on one. Yeah, I mean a wy a wyvern buyback isn't going to save you for most most fights, but that time it really did. It, it yeah, used it the ult as well, haven't they? So, I mean, it really was. Um, what item are we seeing next on this Lancer, though? He's finished his Scardy. Yep, I think... Hmm. Butterfly is definitely an option. It will force at least a Shadow Fiend to go MKB. Were we thinking possibly MKB for that, that burn? MKB is definitely a possibility. It's kind of a weird one though. It's only a 17% mischance. Is that quite enough? And it's only on your main, it? your main hero as well, isn't it? You could just take attack speed and get a similar effect. Yeah, I don't know. It's a tricky one. I think that Alex, Alex is going to assault your ass. That's definitely something that they need. So that's going to help the PL out a lot as well. Obviously, his illusions love a nice bit of aura action. If he's willing to forgo um, buyback, he will have that soon. Yeah, I think that they're probably going to need it though. I'd imagine he is for going by back because he doesn't have it at the moment anyway. There we go. He picked it up. Um, yep, correct. <laughs> so there is the uh, Soul Cast. I expect that we're going to see the BKB next on Queen of Pain, but... You know, oh, he's going hard for his last item on Phantom, I think. It's not his last item. Oh, the next no. item, sorry. Yeah, he, he's true, he's got another Come slot on, or two. Them semantics, yeah. <laughs> I'm allowed to say way, way wrong, but uh, <laughs> one item misstep. Fired. You're not fired, don't worry. You get one warning. I'm very generous. And a smoke here from the Radiant. They've been missing for quite a while, and I believe that the Dyer just saw the Radiant's career walk under that wall. However, they do still get the Bane Ultimate off onto the Red King. Is he going to have one? Good ult from Pain. Shadow Fiend is unable to get the Ultimate off thanks to a Bane uh, slip. The second life of Red King is not looking massively successful as he goes down to second time. Shadow Fiend has started to pat out some serious damage though after coming back up from the sleep and the Phantom Lancer is dead. That was a nice so little far, ice shot. So far a, uh, a 3 for 3 and a gem and moves back over to the die. There's so many gems flying around that uh, it's hard to keep track of to be honest. Could be a... Oh he's got by bank cooldown but he's on a 90 second death timer on the... Uh, the PR. Yeah, I think that they're going to want to definitely think about trying to force the buyback here. Whether or not they can, I'm not sure, because there is only the two of them. Just trying to take the racks, this is... 
Great, you There's two. Yeah, they really want to make the Elboy back. Radiant but if he doesn't, red. they'll be pretty happy with a free Raptor. I, I imagine the Shadow Knees is going to man up. The Radiant's top red. Two deaths for a, uh, a Rax. I think it's worth depending on what uh, Radiant do with it. Yeah, I think the fact that they don't have to buy PL back is what makes that all worth it. Depending on the Roshan timer, they might be living the dream. Yep. Respawns in 30 seconds. That's probably good enough. If they want to scout it out, they can probably take it fairly quickly. Obviously, PL is pretty That's crap. It's a really short anyway. time or so. I imagine they're probably not going to scout that just yet. Oh, they're pinging for it. Green. Yeah, so, green is the, uh, is the die. Yeah, they're the ones thinking about it. Pushing hard on top. I mean, they've still got tier twos on the dais. Oh, yes. Still got tier twos on the radio though at the bottom. They don't yep. don't want it. Just that T3, which is rather scary for them. Especially as you've got the you know, smelly racks down. The um, that's going to push on its own now. AA doing a standard AA business, oh, counter pushing with his ult. AA Alex AA. is probably about to do an ultimate mid as queen. There it is. Minus one creep wave. And Roshan is probably going to be uh, the next fight to look forward to. Not the fight between Roshan and <laughs> Rave King, which frankly is pretty boring. But uh, the fight between LSE really and Southampton over Roshan. I just hear the cable guy fight music when uh, you, you're fighting Roshan. Cable guy? Cable guy. It's a Jim Carrey <laughs> film for those. Uh, I'm out of touch. Under 30. <laughs> I'm under 30. I'm True living that. the dream. That's, I'd expect most people to send that. Oh, smoke into Roche. Dun 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 dun. You can't stop now. Now you've started the song, you've got that, to commit. That's pretty much it. Repeat that oh, forever. It? it doesn't get any better than that. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> okay, I hope that isn't copyrighted because uh, I'm not paying the fine if it is. Hey, we'll happy birthday, we'll you can't copyright that. Up to Southport, uh, along with the, uh, <laughs> send the bailiffs Police. over. <laughs> Please. Yeah, to deal with Amy. For those Wait. that don't know, Amy is Gan's wife. Shout I, out to Amy. I didn't want to break copyright law, she made me. <laughs> Should we be doing shout outs to Amy after you've accused her of physical abuse in the same cast? The dire Rewarding people for their the transgressions. Mm. Yeah, probably not. No shout Bad out Amy. for you. Bad yeah, Amy. I can only assume she's watching right now and will have enjoyed that shout. <laughs> well, I did uh, did have the previous broadcast played on the TV downstairs. I was like, oh, Amy, you know, you should definitely watch me uh, my casting. It'll be really good, along with like 11 other people. 11? There's a uh, gang. I'm pretty sure that's a log, and there's at least two zeros missing. Well, is it like the YouTube channel when it gets to 350, it just breaks for a bit and then. That's that's correct. Once so. there's once there's so many viewers, it's not working. I imagine so. The tough life on the Twitch servers. They're only a small company. And they've only got small backers like Amazon, so their, their server infrastructure is not too good. Well, yeah. Flaming Twitch on Twitch. <laughs> questionable, questionable moves there. Come at me, Twitch. There was a dust in mid. I saw that. Whoever did that. Please tell me that was my favor. Was it 3K player? Wait, who are we flaming? Flaming Tusk. It's confusing because I think they've changed roles. Keeping the flaming on the on the, t the toes. And also beams has changed. Yeah, something I don't know. It's all too much for me. Currently, a really um, aggressive use of this cheese and um, Aegis. The shopkeeper. Yeah, I think they probably do want to go for another push, but maybe they're just thinking, "What's the plan?" Mm -hmm. Really. And. They might be thinking about that of a tier 2. Shadow Fiend might be wishing he'd gone for a bit more of a damage item rather than discarding. Yeah. It looks like he is now going to go for a satanic. He's taking he's his time with it. Shout. Agreed. It's a good item, but he needs to get a move on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, lads. <laughs> and as you say it, there it is, the satanic. There we go. Wow. 
Hashtag gouding the items. They have put cheese onto raking, which is pretty nice. It's going to guarantee. Well, it's actually it's not going to guarantee he gets his ult off. It's going to give him a slightly better chance of getting his ult off. But I imagine PL is going to be pretty determined when it comes to the art of hunting down uh, raking's mana. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I think it might actually it'll give him a longer life. It's essentially an ult itself, isn't it? But it might actually lower his chance because you know you're being attacked, your mana's going down. You pop your cheese, you go back up, more illusions on you. Yep, but uh, it's going to cause trouble, and it's... I guess that's what the dream is. And it has to be said, are these ultimates from Night Stalker rather giving away the game <laughs> when it comes to the smokes? The fact that I've you know, only seen him cast it during smokes. <laughs> I know. I don't know. Maybe we're just being harsh. But the Radiant are uh, a little bit suspicious. They're like, hmm, why's Night Stalker pop his ultimate? Hmm, where's the entire Dire team? Maybe we should hide in our base, and uh, that's exactly what they are going to do. Mm -hmm. No surprise there. And it looks like it's push time for the Rift Dire, which is always good. Yeah, they're growing up on finding a hero. Everyone likes a nice bit of a fight, and also, I can eat a biscuit once this game's finished. I've got two delicious biscuits in front of me. From are they Waitrose. Huawei biscuits? No, yeah, Waitrose. Waitrose, Radiant's but, uh, mid other supermarkets are available. Other Huawei's are available. No, there's only one Huawei. Okay. Here we go, Big they're fight. pushing mid, and as we've all seen, Shadowfiend, as we've seen in many a pro game, Shadowfiend just walks up and starts clubbing the town. Yeah, he's got the Aegis, he doesn't care. He's got the Aegis, he's got Satanic. 3.2k health. But he is oh. stuck in by the Tusk, uh, the Tusk Shards, which is a, a very nice use of Shards. He's forced to use the Satanic, but he's getting essentially nothing from it, because he's getting illusions. Uh, the, um, the Red King's blinked in as well, and almost dies. And a nice ultimate from Bane on Night Stalker, and the Dire are taking a lot more damage than they'd like to, but there's the Shadow Fiend ultimate. Clears out a lot of the PL illusions, but otherwise doesn't achieve all that much. And so far, what we've seen is huge amounts of damage on both sides, but actually not a great deal happens. No. No deaths well, from either. Uh, anti-climatic fights go. That one's up there. But PL has re-engaged, and he's got a lot of illusions, and he's melting down the mana. Not the best target prioritization there, because he burns down all of Undyne's mana and then switches to a Shadow Beam and does die. Can PL clean up the rest time? I'm inclined to say that the answer is going to be yes. On the back lines of this fight, Nice Stalker is trying to cash in on a Bane kill, which he does secure. There's another gem on the ground. Picked up by Marcus. Wraith King is now on life number two. He does did pop the cheese somewhere along the lines. No one uh, They've decided to just cash in on the. Night Stalker kill instead. That was a long fight for. And it's not over. Alex chasing down with the Yules onto. Um, oh, they've got it. Undying. And that's one dead and dying. Now they've got just, just under a minute to do something. What will they do? Yeah, but they the first did lose a Rax during that. I look at that no, creep fight. They didn't. Damn scary. Oh, no. no, they lost the Rax earlier, didn't they? Did they? Oh, you're quite right, Ken. You're Radiant quite right. Top if only I was paying attention. Now they lost the Rax. <laughs> Maybe the psychic. That is a we scary creep wave. From some of the uh, Game Britannia spies that we have out there in the world, is that two of Southampton's players are playing from a LAN cafe due to internet issues. That's pretty dedicated. I'm impressed. Yep. And Radiant have gone for the push, forced the buyback on Night Stalker. I will have. And I, yeah, that is going to be it. I'm happy to force a buyback and walk away. So. This time I believe it's it? safe for me to say, check out that gold graph, yo. I just like the oh, collection of uh, gems that Radiant have got. Graph. Gold graph, that's much better. That is an 8k swing. Mm. What's with all the scribbling? Mm. Looking pretty damn nice for them right now. The levels are evening up, I'd imagine, as they all creep closer to 25. It's You don't really get much of a difference then, do you? And the PL with the Heart and the Scardi is just tanking so much damage in these fights, and his illusions are as well. Even with the Shadow Fiend ultimate going off, he still had probably... Well, I think all of his illusions survive. Sure, some of them are low, but as long as they're up, they're burning mana, and that's what he's after. Yeah, between that yes. and the uh, Radiance, these fights are taking so long, but... They really are. There's so many tanky heroes, and so much mischance on the go, that everyone's just hitting each other and just standing around like, yo, <laughs> want to head for a cheeky coffee afterwards. Yeah. There's the uh, the Mjolnir from Wraith King. Any thoughts on that? Mm. He's slowly building up his right click, isn't he? But 
I think that his plan here is, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it's a good plan, is that PL's got all these illusions stacking him. If he just puts the uh, the active of Mjolnir on him, then there's going to be so many things hitting him, there's going to be lightning flying everywhere. What do you think? Genius? Is that how it works? Based on procs. Mm. A 20% chance to release a... As a chance to release a shopping bolt at a nearby attacker and four additional enemies. Oh. I think it's when you get hit, bro. I just thought it was like a random zap occasionally sort of thing. Hit, but it's not that clear, is it, actually? I guess it says attacker, so I'll, I'll give you that. Yes, lightning everywhere. He is now Thor. I think that's the plan. We will see, I guess. We will see. In the next fight, we're not even going to talk about what's happening. We're just going to watch uh, Wraith King in first person view. Let's not do it. first person view, what is it? Thingy, is thingy mode. Thingy mode, that's something we call it. Not um, us, though, because we're. Marching we're around. Pro. He's got one hell of a gate on him. He looks, he looks bold, that's for sure. Marching around. Oh, blinking around. Chopping things down. Light never already. And for those of us that are. Uh, watched LSE's first game in the previous tournament. You may remember that it was a 80 minute epic mm -hmm. that left some members of the crowd saying it was one of the most dire games of Dota they'd ever seen. <laughs> you may have been expecting me to say great game, but no. Depression I, set in. If I remember correctly, Amy was there like, when's this ending guys? Yeah, them ones. They're going to attempt to defend a tier 2, I'm not sure. If I think they just win the last fight pretty convincingly. I think they're happy to do that. Are you sure you want to try this again, bro? PL is going to go for the Busfly build to just get even more tanky. And that's an aggressive link from Toss. They're looking to try and find some bonus kills. They're all splitting up if they can pick off some there. Our uh, Dying it. has been caught out by the Toss, and he is dead. Radiant are wondering that's... where the smoke is. Yeah. <laughs> Most of uses uses ultimate without a smoke. Wow. It's too Wilds. meta for you. And the Radiant are going to have to go back and defend top lane because they have a very small Rax problem on the go this evening. Mm, so small is not there. Tiny. tiny. Is this, oh, there might be a fight mid. I was almost having to resort to who has the best statue. Alex does get stunned, he's got BKB and he's got Yules, so I think he's going to be walking away if he wants to be, which he does. A nice Bane ultimate onto, uh, onto Shadowfiend, and Shadowfiend I think is going to die. Doesn't even get time to pop the Satanic, which he really needed to there to be honest. PL is also taking a lot of damage and has died to a big crit from the, uh, the Wraith King. Alex running away scared, he does have the GM, so he uh, knows... Back from Shadowfriend. Here he comes. Stopper goes down, that's probably another gem on the ground. Another die here and dead. And I think Tusk yes. maybe should have tried to just get the, the AA kill there. He did have his ult available. But such mm. is life. You see an so axe coming out on uh, Bane. Had, uh, mm. Buyback from the Shadow Feed there, which is probably the most notable part of that fight. I think they're going to then try and turn it around into forcing PL to buy back. And if they do that, then they're going to be pretty happy. If he doesn't buy back, I think they lose his yeah, tower. There we go, double buy back. A nice ultimate from Alex, who gets a lot of damage off. Maybe about to dive though for his efforts. Just about gets away. What was no, he on there? He's been picked up. He does not have buyback available. So if Shadow can do some good damage here, then this could well be game over. The thing is, Shadow Friend could die to. I mean, he's bought back. He was here and ready. And Shadowfiend's mana is gone, Shadowfiend's life is gone, Shadowfiend is dead. Wraith King might want to begin thinking about leaving, but he's instead he's dead. Walking. What was that? And this... I don't want to use the word throw, because uh, it's very negative, but... It was, was chucked. This game, this game was chucked. Yeah, I was about to say tossed, but <laughs> chucked I like. And, I mean, I don't think the Oxford Dictionary should be talking to Nicki Minaj after all, it turns out it's us. Indeed, I got loads of words that could be in there. Shark. I don't think they want to know about some Snur of your words. Snurf, What? It's like when you you laugh but only a little bit through your nose. So what are you calling that? <laughs> I can't even remember now. Snurtle, you know, like chuckle. Mm. Who even knows? It's, it's getting late. Have we got two, two more of these crazy things to go? Well, yeah. 
this is a great time to say thanks for tuning in guys you are currently watching the best of three between LSC and Southampton this is game one I know I can't believe it so much excitement and we're merely in game one I think my, uh, my my camera ship is being brought into question again who the hell would be questioning your camera ship Gamma Moo Gamma Moo sometimes known as a structure uh, she's getting very rude. Yes, she's what's happening to die I don't know what to tell down. you, Gan. I'm sorry. When you I'm signed up for the, for the job, and it wasn't really you signing up, it was more me telling you that I need you to join me for the evening's cast. What I, I did mention was that you were getting bullied. Not only by your wife, but also by... Turns out it's like a, uh, a thing of natural selection. People Dyer's called Amy hate on people called Steven. I mean, who would have known? What, who would have thumped it? What are going to do? Which potentially each Amy thought they were getting the shout out earlier, but in reality we were talking about a completely different Amy that was neither of those. JP's wife. <laughs> she doesn't bully me actually. Does she not? Just saying. She is quite nice generally. Unlike the others, which are both vicious bullies. Oh, we're getting so, this. Uh... While we've been discussing <laughs> this, there wasn't the a whole lot going on. <laughs> And the tier 3 on the bottom. Fight going on, and Undying, as always, once you get out of the very early game, Undying <laughs> essentially just dies. Yeah, I mean, it was nicely scouted out by an invisible... Well, Bane. Bring it out again. And this is going to be, um... Roshan dying, which is very good, because Pierre was forced to buy back, so he would love a bit of Aegis action. Bane has gone too deep, though, with his uh, Glimmer Cave, and it's going to cost him his life. Whether or not that's Long the end of the action, though. I do not mm. know. Red King blinks in. He hasn't used the Mjolnir active, which I disapprove of. There, there it is. Go. Suddenly there's lightning flying around everywhere. Yeah, didn't matter, he got cut down. Why yeah, then trying to finish old this. Shadow Beam purely to show him down? And if PL dies here, then this is probably game over, because he is not a buyback. He, he isn't able the cheese. To oh, but he does get the cheese and uses it, and that is huge. I think Shadow Beam is just going to melt again. No buyback on Shadow Beam. If they can kill Red King again, oh. Brave King able to blink and get away successfully, but they are going to look for bonus kills here on the Ancient Apparition and the Night Stalker, of which they get both. And that cheese use there, was actually, massive. That cheese use was massive. The cheese use was very big. Maybe have even been better than the Aegis purely because he didn't have to waste three seconds. Oh, no. Wraith King has just died. We've got a buyback on AA, but an AA doesn't do all that much. And an Undying certainly doesn't do all that much at this stage of the game. It's a good move, though. Oh, look at the time Four seconds remaining, but he goes down. I think Forced Tusk may be dead. Tusk is, is going to die because that is the arrows. And there he goes. Pop. Does not have buyback. And this is an intense late game situation we have going on right here. Should they I be think, taking a Rax? I think they should be aiming to kill Rave King because he does not have buyback. And I think they were not going to struggle to do it either, because this PL is no. a scary business. He's already at half man. His ult is up, but... Oh! The uh, BKB actually saved him. Right. They're going to want to get the sick kill, but he does get the blink off. They really Defusal need to work active, on it. Defusal active, stone and getting, getting him before the blinks off. Um, we've got a question from chat, Gan. And the question is, who's the best team we've seen so far? And I'll answer that question for you. The best team we've seen so far... It's probably Cambridge who had an extremely convincing. Um... Is that the first round? Yeah, was... mid -towers, yeah they were very. Yeah. I watched that. that they were strong. But it has to be said that both teams in this game have played really well as well. I mean, the if only PL problem. Dies now, but he goes down without buyback, and he is dead for two minutes. Dyer's mid tower could use a little help. That was that wasn't the best play for him. I mean, he, the cheese was good, but. Wow, this is an intense situation. He got the racks. But they, they did get the racks, but the uh, the Raven have also lost another range racks mid. And in 90 seconds, a lot of damage can be done. Yep, they're actually up on racks now, but it's... But for how long? Mm. Is it good enough? They're just not wasting time, are they? They're just going straight down mid. They know that this is the chance. And Jimmy in chat, who was two minutes in the past, has just said, GG, no one can kill PL. Oh, Jimmy. Some of us here in the future know better. Yeah, that's the benefit of living in the future, isn't it? Like an Australian. 
Is that how time zones work? I don't know. I don't know, know enough about time zones to tell you you're wrong. Well, that sounds wrong. And they don't care about backdoor protection, they just casually clap down. And what are they going to do now? They're just going to go to tables. Without PL, how much can they really do then? They've still got 49 seconds. It's, it's a long time. Oh, Wraith King's first ult's gone back. How did they lose that? They just clubbed him down with Bane. He needs to be using Bane needs to use his ult on by a lot of times. Didn't kill anyone and I think they really needed to get a kill out of it. Not that Radiant it was potentially possible. The Bane ult is insta cancelled as he dies and drops again. Still twenty five seconds. Seconds for remaining, but look at the HP of the ancient right here and it's not very high. Buy back on the Queen, but how much can she really do? The answer is not very much. They're doing everything they can. The ancients on our hunting. Oh my god, that was intense. Was able to buy back in the last seconds, but congratulations to Southampton who win game one, and we will be back ever so shortly with game two. But before we do do that, anything you'd like to mention, Gand? Any you know? Anything cool? Mm -hmm. no? uh, just you know, have a little thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should. I feel like we've, we've gone too far. We've gone too hard. I mean, you ever go too far? okay, well, welcome to the heritage for those people who have just tuned in right to the end of a game.